house will be in order. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Bradamus. I'm President Emeritus of New York University. And on behalf of NYU's John Bradamus Center for the Study of Congress, I want to welcome all of you here and thank you for joining us for what promises to be a most interesting discussion. This is the second year that the Bradamus Center has co-sponsored the Foreign Policy Association's John B. Herford Memorial Lecture. The Bradamus Center examines the role of Congress as a policy-making institution. Our center brings together centers, senators and representatives, current and former Democrats, Republicans. This is not a partisan initiative. Cabinet officers, congressional staffers, journalists, students, scholars, to discuss the processes, the ways by which our national legislature influences and shapes policy, as well as significant issues of public policy. I would like here to express my gratitude to the John B. Herford Foundation for making tonight's lecture possible. John Herford was a dedicated philanthropist who took a keen interest in issues of higher education and international relations. I hope you'll allow me a few words of background. I was for 22 years, from 1959 to 1981, a member of Congress of the United States House of Representatives from Indiana. In 1980, seeking election to a 12th term, I was defeated as a consequence of Ronald Reagan's landslide victory that year in the presidential race. Shortly thereafter, I was invited to become president of New York University and served in that position until 1992 when I became president emeritus. I was from 1994 through 2001 chairman of the National Endowment for Democracy. NED, as we call it, is a unique institution, a non-governmental organization financed by the federal government. Created in 1983 by a Republican president, Ronald Reagan, and a Democratic Congress, NED has remained all these years true to that spirit of bipartisanship as it fulfills its role to promote democracy around the globe. NED makes grants to private organizations that work for free and fair elections, independent media, independent judiciary, and the other components of a genuine democracy in countries that either do not enjoy democracy or where it is struggling to survive. I had the great pleasure of serving with John Herford, who was a member of the Board of Directors during, of NED during my tenure. And I am delighted that NED's longtime president, Carl Gershman, will be our speaker this evening. I want to thank Noel Latif, president of the Foreign Policy Association, and his staff at the FBA with whom we've worked to organize this evening's event. I shall now turn the podium over to Robert Miller, president of the John C. Herford Foundation, who will introduce tonight's lecture. And as we would say in the House of Representatives, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. <laughs> 